First, we've introduced a side-by-side -side chat experience in our template editor, allowing you to quickly iterate and make changes whether you're updating an existing Nuclei template or creating a new one. We've also added smart suggestions within the editor, especially useful for advanced users. This feature allows you to easily edit or update specific blocks directly within the current template context. For instance, you can quickly include additional paths, edit matchers, or update rejects without switching views. This significantly enhances the template editing experience. You can now also include external links by tagging them with its symbols at the start and end. This allows you to reference external resources directly within your templates, particularly helpful when defining matchers based on external reports or complex HTTP responses. Several updates have been made across the entire template section, improving how you share, scan, and debug templates. These enhancements simplify the overall process of creating and testing templates. Under our exposure management workflows, we've introduced a few notable additions. First, we've rolled out an early version of the overview visualization. You can expect continuous improvements and more detailed visualizations as we refine this feature further. Importantly, there's now a dedicated host view, allowing you to dive deeply into network details and associated vulnerabilities for individual hosts. We also now include complete HTTP responses and provide improved filtering options, including an AI-powered query feature. This enables you to easily search within HTTP responses to quickly pinpoint specific details or vulnerabilities. Lastly, within our vulnerability management workflows, we've introduced several important updates. You can now customize severity levels globally, allowing you greater control over automated severity assignments in your Nuclei templates. Additionally, you have the flexibility to reconfigure severity settings for specific instances. we've introduced a new vulnerability status called triage, designed to help you confirm and validate vulnerabilities before initiating remediation processes. Finally, we've added support for custom link references within individual vulnerability. This lets you easily link to external tickets or internal team conversations beyond our built-in integrations.